Now we are moving to the second part of our third chapter. So in this second part, we are going to see about measurement of length. Then we will uh, also discuss about uh, the measurement of mass. So what is the length? The definition of length is the straight line distance between two points. The straight line distance between two points is called as a length and its SI unit is meter, its SI unit is meter and represented by small letter m, represented by small letter m. The word meter is coming from the Greek word metron which means measurement, which means measurement. Meter is coming from the original word is from uh, Greek and it's a metron, metron means a measurement. So the straight line distance between two points is called uh, its length. Then the SI unit is meter and it's also written by small letter m. Then now if SI unit is meter, how can we define one meter? How can we define one meter? One meter can be defined as it is the length between two marks on a platinum iridium bar kept in the International Bureau of Weight and Measures in Paris. That means uh, it's an alloy just like a rod. It's made up of platinum and uh, iridium like this one plate is there. One rod is there made up of two combination of platinum and uh, iridium and it's kept at zero degree Celsius. The temperature will remain constant. And the length between there are two marking uh, markings are there on that rod, and the distance between that marking is called one meter. Then again, some common devices are used. What are the common device? First one, a measuring or a meter ruler. Meter ruler or ruler normally. We are you are using a 15 centimeter ruler made of uh, plastic, and steel rulers are there. I think this one is a uh, 30 centimeter. Here centimeter is marked and the other side inches are in is also marked. Here it's almost 12 inches are there. 12 inches are almost equal to 30 centimeter. 3 0. 30 centimeter. So this is a ruler. Then next one is uh, measuring type is there. Measuring type you might have seen when the carpenters are or coming there will be a measuring type will be a round shape or uh, there is in, in a small case some uh, tape is there that is measuring type. And uh, meter rod. Meter rod means uh, it's uh, almost a, a meter rod uh, made up of a uh, iron or something. It will be sharp one meter. So one meter rod is there. Then how to use this ruler correctly? That means already as I said, in this uh, meter, ruler centimeters one to thirty centimeters are there, and each one centimeter is again again divided into ten divisions, equal divisions, and one division will be equal to one millimeter. So 10 millimeters will give a 1 centimeter and 100 centimeter will give you 1 meter. So 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter. That is also another definition what we are using now. Now next one is uh, how to use this ruler correctly. How we have to use the ruler when you are uh, dealing with the ruler. How you are going to use the ruler correctly. First one, avoid using ends of ruler. Surely, as I said, it's made up of steel, so it will not have much problem. But if you are using the plastic scale or uh, the made up of glass, and what will happen when we are handling this one? Sometimes the ends can be broken. Ends can be broken. So it is avoid using the ends of ruler. Suppose if I want to measure the length of a, this pen, if you are your glass type material, what you have to use? You don't use it from the ends. You just keep in between somewhere. So at that time what will happen, you will get the, uh, see here, my starting point is from 7, finishing point is uh, 30. So starting point is uh, 7 and finishing point is uh, 20. So two points, I have uh, two points. These are, this, this are the two points. So how I will calculate 20 minus 7, 13 centimeter will be the length of this one. So like that you can measure, that will be good for you. Second one is, Place ruler correctly. That means if you want to measure, you have to place the ruler in a proper way. Otherwise, the measurement can be varied. The third step is that a correct pointing of eye. That means if you want to measure something, 
Suppose I have to measure the length of this one by keeping this one. If I want to measure from here, I should not look like this or I should not look like this. I have to look on the top and vertically downward. I have to look. Then only I will get the proper reading. If the sideways, sometimes one mm, two mm changes can be there. So these are the three <coughs> rules in order to use the ruler properly. Avoid using ends of the ruler. Place ruler correctly, and the other one is correct pointing of eye. Now, indirect measurement of length of length by using the ruler. Suppose if I want to measure the length from uh, here to here, one one line is there from here to here. Direct method is I am going to keep the ruler from here to here. I will take this uh, initial point and final point, and I will maybe just changing that one. So you are going to get the the measurement. Now, if it is an indirect method, indirect method means suppose I want to measure the length of this curved line using this ruler. Is it possible? I have to use the ruler in order to measure the curved line. Anyway, I cannot measure this one like this. It measurement is not possible. So what I will do? I will take a thread. I will take a thread and I will keep the thread from this point to this point over the line, and I will take out the thread. And then I will make the thread straight, and I will keep the thread from one point to the other point, so that I can measure one one method. Second one, suppose if a small plastic balls are familiar to you, if you want to measure the diameter of this small plastic ball, how can you measure using ruler? We cannot make the ruler into a round shape, is it not? So what we will do? We will take the plastic ball, two match boxes we will take, and we will keep the ruler. And on the ruler, what we will do? On the ruler, uh, ruler, we are going to keep uh, the ball. Then we will keep two match boxes, boxes from two, two sides, and we will get the end end points here. So the measurement will be taken from this point to this point, so that you are going to get the diameter of the ball using ruler. Then next one, coin. Suppose five rupee coins are there. If you want to measure five, one five rupee coin and keeping somewhere, means what will happen? It is very difficult for me. To take the measurement. So at that time, what I will do? I am going to. I am just taking the uh, two, three uh, uh, pen. Suppose if I want to measure, measure the one pen, that means high means it's very difficult for me. Then uh, what I will do? I will take the two, three pens together, and what I will do? I will keep like this. So three measurements are it's almost uh, uh, six centimeters are there. So what I will do? I will just uh, make six divided by three, two centimeter. Uh, correctly, we will get the measurement. So we will take a uh, one coin is very thin. So uh, we will take uh, five or ten coins, and we will take the unit of uh, from one to uh, the total distance divided by number of coins, so that you can get the thickness of one particular coin. And suppose if you want to measure the diameter of small wire, wire you know it's very thin. So what we will do? We will take the wire and we will just uh, wound it around a pencil or pen. And what we will do? Ten wounds are there. The ten wounds we will keep, and then from here to here, the distance we will measure. So ten wounds are there. So from there, ten divided by given distance, uh, the uh, determined the distance will be given. By, uh, when you are divided this, that one, you will get the one thickness of or one round of the thickness of the wire you will get. These are the indirect measurement of length using indirect methods to measure. The length by a meter ruler. Now we have to move to the measurement of mass. Okay. Now we are going to uh, discuss about the measurement of mass. So measurement of mass actually it's familiar, very familiar for us. But the problem is that uh, instead of mass, we used to express that one as weight. But actually, this mass and weight are uh, in physics actually they are two quantities. Weight is the amount of force by which Earth is going to attract our body towards the center. But mass is the amount of matter present in an object. Amount of matter present in an object. Already we have learned what is matter. Matter which is having a different space and requires a space and having some amount of mass. Then the amount of matter present in an object is called mass. And its a unit is kilogram and it is represented by small letter kg. The size unit is kilogram. Are represented by small letter kg. Sub multiples are there and uh, multiples are there. So in sub multiples, 
smaller units of kilogram, gram and milligram. Then multiples higher units, quintal and metric ton. So here, if you look at here, you can see the relationship between this gram, kilogram and all. 1000 milligram will be equal to 1 gram. 1000 milligram will be equal to 1 gram. And 1000 gram will be equal to 1 kilogram. Then 100 kilogram will be equal to 1 quintal. And 10 quintals are equal to 1 metric ton. So this metric ton and quintals are multiples. And the gram and the milligram are the sub multiples. Now the devices. Or the every day when you are, if you are going for vegetables in order to make the uh, buy some amount of vegetables and all we used to say that uh, we need one kilogram of vegetable. So you have to make sure that this is actually mass of that object, not weight. Okay. Now devices. What are the devices? First one is a beam balance, common one. Normally with the shopkeepers and all you see. The beam balance is what the two bands will be there and so, or a common pointer will be there and here one side sometimes you will be keeping like the shapes iron pieces you might have seen one two three like that you will be written if it is one one kilogram two two kilogram like that then this will be kept on one pan then other side they will add the vegetable when this all, both pans are at the same level or the pointers are standing at a vertically at that time you will get the correct measurement of mass then the accurate beam balance has the following features both the pants must be of equal mass that means this both pants should be of equal mass then only they will stand at level that means without the load they have to stand at the same level second one both the arms must be of equal length that means if uh, this of uh, um, 15 meter or 15 centimeter this also should be 15 centimeter this uh, thread should be have a same length the next one both the parts must be suspended with the strings of equal length and mass. So the strings also should be equal length and mass. Then when the pants are empty, the beam should be horizontal and the pointer vertical. That means they should be at a horizontal and the pointer should be vertical. Then you can say that the measuring device or this beam balance is perfectly okay. Otherwise, we, we are not going to get the correct or proper reading. Right? Then next one. This was the old one. Nowadays, if you are going for the vegetable market and all, what you are seeing, you are able to see the electronic weighing machine. Electronic weighing machine, you can see. This is the electronic weighing machine. So, in electronic weighing machine, there will be a pan will be there. There is no two pans are there. So, here what you will be keeping, you will be keeping the vegetables or something. At that time, digitally, you are going to get the value. This is little more accurate than the normal beam balance. Then next one is the physical balance. This is actually uh, kept in the science chemistry lab. Mainly in chemistry lab, the small amount of milligram and gram units can be taken. Milligram and gram units can be taken. So this is regarding the measurement of mass. The amount of matter present in an object is called mass. As a unit of mass is kilogram and it is represented by small letter kg and sub multiples gram and milligram multiples quintal and metric gram relationship is this one then device to measure is a beam balance nowadays we are measuring with the electronic balance so this is the end of this uh, section then two more things is remaining measuring of time and measuring of temperature that the next class we will discuss and small uh, works are there for you we have to pick out the correct appropriate answer. 1 inch is equal to 1 inch is equal to 12 centimeter, 2.54 centimeter, 3.08 centimeter, 2.54 feet. You have to pick out the correct answer. As the unit of mass is options A gram, B milligram, C kilogram, D pound. You have to find out. Third one, which of the following weighing devices has a very high accuracy and sensitivity? A. B. Balance, B. Grosses Balance, C. Physical Balance and D. None of these. See here, this answer is physical balance as I said that we are using in chemistry lab. We are measuring the things in milligram. So milligram if it is giving the reading that will be very high accurate one. Then answer the following. What is a meter rod? What is a meter rod? First question. What is a meter rod? Second one. What do you understand by the term mass? Name any one instrument used for measuring mass. 
what do you understand by the term mass name any instrument used for measuring mass third one what is the principle of the working of a beam balance what is the principle of working of a beam balance so so this much things you have to study okay so take your copy and note down all the questions and answers study well thank you